Here's your StormTrack 5 weather forecast. Now, meteorologist Ricky Matthews. All right, a neat little thing happening this morning. Watch the temperatures on the map here. Notice we got 32 in Avenue, the freezing point, 33 in Lebanon, but 40 in Richlands, 25 in some of our valley locations, like at the Tri Cities Airport in Bluntville, but 37 in Wise. And the reason for that, something we call a temperature inversion. Normally, temperature decreases with height all the way from the surface up to all the way to the top of the troposphere. But today, we've got the temperature increasing with height at around three to 4,000 feet, which is around the elevation of some of our higher mountain counties or cities such as Wise. So the temperatures this morning Wise, 37 to 25 in the valley. So if you ever see that on a temperature map, that's why. Now, through the next couple of days, we'll be staying nice and mild, but a little warmer than 37 at least. Temperatures this afternoon warming up into the low to mid 60s. And if you like the warmth, we can give you some more over the next couple of days with 50s and 60s expected before a few cold fronts approach our area. That'll give us a little bit of a rain chance, maybe a little bit of a snow chance. Still a bit of uncertainty with that that we've got to nail down over the next couple of days. But note that there are the potential for a few storms over the next, say, five or six days. Now this morning, max alert radar and satellite together not showing a whole lot. There's no clouds out there. That allow temperatures to drop overnight into those 20s that we see this morning. High pressure to our south is going to aid in giving us a southwest wind this afternoon. Could be a little bit gusty at times. That will help bump our temperatures up, though, with mostly sunny skies expected. A cold front, though, will approach through the overnight hours so around 2 to 4 a.m. And some of our western locations could see a stray rain shower. Then I think as we go towards maybe 5, 6, maybe towards 8, with the kids head off to the bus stop tomorrow morning, then we give them the umbrella or the raincoat because we'll see the few scattered rain showers around the area. And then we turn our attention to storm system number 2, which is going to be out towards the west across portions of Iowa. That'll sweep in as we go towards midweek, giving us another shot for some rain and maybe changing over to a little bit of snow. So our severe threat tracker in the low to medium alert level over the next couple of days because of those rain chances as we start off the work week and move into Tuesday night. Temperatures this afternoon, though, very nice and comfortable. Check out these highs. 65 for the Tri-Cities in Greenville, around 63 in Duffield, and 62 in Lebanon. Can't really get much better than that, folks, especially as we round out February. 59 in Jefferson, 60 in Boone, and 66 in Elizabethan this afternoon. Around 59 for Norton, we'll say 63 for Clintwood, and 64 towards Harlan, Kentucky. Now, through the overnight hours, temperatures will drop only into the 40s this time, though. We'll say around 41 for the Tri-Cities. Some increasing clouds for the overnight. 42 in Rogersville, towards the east, 38 in Boone, and 39 in Jefferson. Better shot of rain as we head towards southwest Virginia and southeast Kentucky, where the front will get a little bit closer through the overnight. We'll say a 50% shot there. Otherwise, mostly cloudy skies are expected during the overnight hours. Check out the Storm Track 5 7 day forecast. You'll see temperatures today in the 60s, tomorrow in the upper 50s. May get close to 60 in one or two spots. I think we'll hit 62 again on Tuesday. Then the chance for rain moves in late Tuesday night into Wednesday. That's the second storm system I was talking about. Another potential system moves in late week. Still trying to nail down the details on that. Some computer models are more excited than others about that, so we'll have to see what uh, the trends over the next couple of days show for that system. Otherwise, temperatures look to stay around seasonal levels, maybe a little bit below as we end off the week, but still 60s, 40s, still a little bit of everything for everyone. And I was telling you during the break, the pollen index is going back up. We get these okay. 60s, but you know, you got to pay for it eventually. Got to pay for it. That's okay. I'll take a little allergy <laughs> issues <laughs> a if we seasons. can have some warm weather. All right. <laughs> All right well, let's